You join us this week at Bettersfield on the Clangockland Canal. We're heading towards Ellesmere. I've had a crack on the head going for a battery for the camera. It's just one of those days, but I've checked the weed hatch and we've got a journey today of about two and a half hours. It was a bit windy when we set off, but the sun was out and the colours were just stunning. It's exactly what we were hoping for. We're going up to Ellsworth, Ellsworth, but I'm letting these get past. We're so sorry, my dog. We follow you all the time. Oh. And we were just then um, going to pop them up and say hello, but we didn't. We weren't going to knock on your door. Oh, you hello. Home. You're more than welcome to. <laughs> oh, bless you. Helen and John, who watch the channel, who just jumped off their boat to say hello. So, hello, Helen and John. Hey. Nice to meet you both. Thank you. Too. Thank you, my darling. You so, are you living aboard now? There's nothing like a bit of intimidation, is there? This boat couldn't get any closer, and Anthony's. Tickle, but because there's a boat coming. We're going tickle over past them boats. You're welcome. Oh, well, we're having a lovely time talking to Helen and John, and we noticed a boat coming up behind us, so we did the right thing and moved on. And the guy behind shouted, Yeah. In meanwhile, so we thought, oh, he's a tad aggressive, um, and he's been shouting at us to move over. And I've been like really close to the stern of the boat. Yeah. I just don't get it. If you're in a rush, don't get a canal boat. Yeah. It's no no time for yeah. rushing on a, on a canal. Telling us we're too busy filming to move, but we're yeah. actually moving at the right speed. And so we're going to take boats. boats. Um, I'm quite shocked to be honest. Yeah. It's the first like almost like a road rage incident on the canal, on the canal. that we've come across. Anyway. I'm glad we let him pass because I felt intimidated and I don't want to be feeling like we're in a rush. I think what made that incident more shocking, not just that they were like really close to the stern of the boat trying to intimidate us, but the fact that it's it's sort of very unusual, like the whole like the two years we've been on the boat, we've only really experienced it. Nice boats, aren't we? Yeah. The, you know, the, the really pleasant ones and really nice people on the toll path, and we've never really come across that at all. No, very aggressive, and there's no need for it. I mean, force, you know, telling us to move over. There's means and ways of doing things. Yeah. If you've said, would you mind pulling up after this bridge because I'm in a bit of a rush, then that would have been that would have yeah, been perfectly been fine acceptable. To move over and let it pass. But to be right up to the stern of the boat, shouting and telling us to move over and basically ordering us to move over, isn't it? Sort of bridge yeah. just doesn't cut at all. No. He's obviously not having a good day, is he, Anthony? Very angry head. Well, there's no need to make a video because he's being miserable, is he? I know. Keep I'm, it to yourself. I'm, I'm sure he will. I'm sure he's going to continue to make everybody's day miserable. Yeah. Anyway, yeah. on a positive, it's absolutely beautiful. The, the winds dropped down a little bit. Yeah. Um, the toll path before when I took that for a walk didn't seem very muddy which is shocking to the rain last night so hopefully the cycle back to the car isn't too grueling yeah um, I know the switch kit will help it, it is working now as well do you know what else will help? A bus, a bus or a train I'm not getting a bus or a train if you want to do that you can do that oh you enjoy your cycle yeah. then I can finish my artwork yeah but, ah it's lovely isn't it? yeah that fern woods there was absolutely stunning it's just a real shame it was like a fishing Place yeah. you couldn't walk, which is a shame because it's yeah, for sure absolutely local, beautiful. Ah, this is nice. Let's turn the camera around. You can enjoy the view.
isn't it? Absolutely beautiful. <laughs> well, we bumped into that guy again who was being very aggressive and we're not sure if he's got mental health problems, but he just said, how are you lads? Is it your first time on the canal? Yeah, uh, like you lo like, love it. <laughs> like that incident had never happened. Yeah. So I think just needs to cut people some slack. He may have, may have issues. Yes. Um, and we explained that we were going in tick over because of the moored boats and he said, oh, I just asked you uh, to move over because I knew there's nowhere, there was room after that bridge, but he didn't ask us, he demanded we moved over, didn't he? Yeah, I just yeah. 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 Let it go, let it go. It's not going to spoil the day, because no. this is stunning. Well, now that he's been like that, I feel a yeah. bit better. This is what it's all about as well, just yeah. like being immersed in this, it's just beautiful. I think it's a contrast, isn't it? You just don't expect that kind of behaviour when everyone else is so lovely. Well, it was. It was, it was a bit shocking yeah. and a bit uh, intimidating. But it's over now. Yeah, and like I said, thankfully, those incidents are very few. Yeah, they are. Well, we, we, two years and that's the first we've had. Yeah, so. we've only had one grumpy doctor <coughs> in two years, haven't we? Yeah. <laughs> anyway, the colours are stunning. The wind has dropped. We know our friends Pete and Caroline are on their boat um, around, they left Marbury didn't they yesterday? Yeah. They arrived at Marbury yesterday, left there today, they said it's that windy where they are. They're not as hardy as us. They're they, not as hardy. They've moored up. <laughs> they have moored up. You did say it's more exposed then, you were more charitable. Yeah, yeah there's, more, there's more open fields there to be fair to them. I just thought they were being soft. Yeah. They're probably getting indoors for a cup of tea and some tea love. Well, I nearly made a tea love. While we're in Wales, I feel like I should do a barrow brew. Yeah. Oh yeah? So I might get some dried fruit when I finally get the car and make a barrow brew. Is barrow brew a bit like malt loaf? Not really, it? yeah, yeah. It's, fa it's fatless. It, um, you don't use butter in it at all. It's just flour, sugar. Does that mean there's no calories? It's definitely calories in it. Flour, sugar and eggs in mine. I know you can, there are some recipes similar that don't use eggs, but mine does. How many eggs, Anthony? <laughs> We've got a friend, Philip, whose mum made him pay for the eggs when he was a kid, if they were making yeah, cakes. That's bizarre. He taught him the value of money. Oh, it did. Well, now he thinks it's very extravagant if you use three, cake, three, three eggs, eggs in a in cake. cake. Yeah, it's oh. quite extravagant. Well, this stretch is really quiet. It was really busy back there, wasn't it? Yeah. This is dead quiet. Typical is where all the bridges are, where you meet boats and moored boats. Uh, but yes, yeah, lovely and quiet. We can just hear the birds. We've met quite a few people, haven't we? About three people coming this yeah. way who, who subscribe to the channel, so thanks so much. Oh yeah, big thank you. Yeah. One chap wouldn't admit to watching, it was his wife who watches. Yeah, my wife watches your channel, <laughs> yeah. he said. So, thank you to his wife. Yes. Ah, oh, this is lovely. <sighs> I feel more relaxed already. Yeah, I do. Just need a cup of coffee, don't I? Or a glass of water. <laughs> You're gonna say why? You've had a shave today, Anthony. What's I have going had a on? Shave. Look at my head. Look at me cut on my head. Look at that. There's <laughs> a lump. Don't say. I've got a lump on my head. Don't say it. Either. You were gonna say I'm a lump, aren't you? No. Yeah. After not at all. I said to him yesterday, you gotta be nicer. People think it's bullying. It is I bullying. don't think anybody would think it's bullying. No. Anybody who knows us will know that's exactly what we're like with each other. It's just a bit of fun. banter. Teasing. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, what happened? Wow. Mag oh, a J. A J, that? Yeah. Like a tear in a sack. Yeah, there you go. If you don't know what a J sounds like, if you hear a bird that sounds like a, a sack tearing, that's going to be a J. They're very timid birds, but very colourful.
Friends had recommended this coffee shop in Ellesmere called Moolah, so we thought we'd give it a try. For research purposes only, to be honest, because we don't really like coffee and cake. We know that this lake is a favourite mooring spot for Dan Brown, not the author, but the vlogger. And we actually passed Dan's boat yesterday. No wonder this is a stunning spot, look at this. We were soon at Ellesmere Tunnel and although it's only 87 yards long, we really struggled to get from one end to the other. You've got the flow against you and I think there must be silt as well, but we seem to get stuck at the end. taking forever and if anything it felt like we were going backwards. It's not going backwards. Do you want to jump on? We're going. Well, that was an effort. Oh, well, that was the weirdest experience coming through that <laughs> tunnel, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. It was fine, wasn't it? And then it, right near 
the, the um, exit. exit and we were just stuck it just wouldn't wouldn't move yeah the flow of the water is going against the boat and obviously it's going and faster and in you're the just placing the water as well aren't you so yeah oh yeah you were going about that much yeah in the end the like second. once you were out the tunnel or yeah. that bit was out you could drag it through yeah grab the center line pull the boat forward a bit yeah. which helped we just seemed to be treading water didn't we it was just really weird. watching what's going on here because it looks a bit like the Suez canal yeah there's a boat coming towards us right across the canal yeah but we were told don't put too many revs on your boat because then you're just sinking lower in the water doing that but it was really difficult. But even with like very little revs, it wasn't moving. <laughs> oh, a laundrette. Oh, man. Get excited about a laundrette. Oh, we should have put the washing on. <laughs> Last chance within walking distance of the canal. Every day, oh, yeah. Oh, off the Ellesmere arm. Oh, fabulous. So going going to the Don't you be getting me doing laundry while you go off on your bike. I've got artwork to do. We can do it tomorrow. We could. We could. Well, that means we have to stay put then. Oh, yeah. I've no idea what's going on with this boat, there's a man stood on the roof. Well they've sorted themselves out. They've definitely got the lights ready for the tunnel. I don't think that person should be sat in the bow though, do you? No, going through the tunnel. Well it's no wonder they struggle because that wind was whipping down off the field from the left and it pinned us against this bank. After a bit of a struggle we're on our way again to Ellesmere. We were only going to stay on the Ellesmere Arm for one night but it was really windy for a few days so we decided to stay a bit longer. It was really handy for shops, the cafe, the laundrette, plus we had loads of friends there too. Seven to two hours away here. What? Seven to two hours. Away, How are you guys? Yeah, good, yeah, you? good are you? Yeah. Nice boat. <laughs> <laughs> Do you live on it? <laughs> Is it new? <laughs> oh, oh, hi mate, hi. right? Oh, oh thank, thank you. you. Thanks a lot. I don't, the rubbish. Uh, <laughs> he does it, the rubbish. So. <laughs> Keep it alright. Thank you. We yeah. thought we saw your boat earlier. I said, this looks like a big stuff. I think it had uh, Joshua about. Yeah. <laughs> it must have been. Well, it was nice chatting to our old friend Glenn, and we were really lucky to get this last space at the end of the Ellesmere Arm. Very lucky, wasn't it? I didn't even think we'd get in this spot. Well, yeah, we just managed to get the very yeah. last spot. We'd, I said, no way, we're going to get in there. But it, as we got closer, it was evident that we could get in there. Big words. Yeah, it is a big word for me. Um, we did, I think we both did very well with the wind today coming off those oh, fields. Yeah, it was horrific. Like, coming through that tunnel was good fun. Well, our friends have even moored up, haven't they? So, like, because yeah. it was that bad. But yeah. um, it was, it was going all over the place and we managed to not hit anyone. I know, I know, which is always a plus. <laughs> yeah. uh, just like a fisherman shaking his head. Right. As we're mooring up, because he was fishing there. Yeah. What do you want us to do? Go, go for go. it. Yeah. Uh, anyway. Anyway. We're here. Um, it is just gone. Just gone ten past one. Which is really good for us. So, yeah, yeah. So it did take about two and a half hours, which yeah, is what which we guessed, said. wasn't it? Uh, we've come indoors because it's very windy and there'll just be loads of wind noise on the yeah. microphone but we're going to get something to eat I'm going to take Dexter for a walk and you're thinking yeah, about, think cycling about cycling back, back for, for the, the car. car I think we should wait till the weekend my brother's coming we could just get away. well lift. we need to make sure he is coming if he is coming that's fine but if he's not yeah. we need the car to be closer to us yeah oh. so. well uh, Glenn's behind us as well oh yeah um who we met on the Peak Forest Canal last yep. year wasn't so it? we've got a big stop boat yeah. um, 
I knew he was on the Clan Gotham, but I didn't know where. Yeah, and the dog Penny. <laughs> Excuse me. Bless you. Dexter hates me sneezing. And the dog Penny. I think penny. it sounds like another dog barking. Yeah. yeah. And, and he's got a cat as well. I don't oh, know yeah. what the cat's called. Yeah. Yeah. Right, we were very lucky to get this last spot. Yep. We're right in Ellesmere on the arm, and uh, as we say every week, don't forget to subscribe. It's completely free, really helps the channel. Don't forget to hit the bell icon for notifications so you don't miss any future videos. And keep your comments coming, please. We really do like to listen to what you've got to say, and yeah. I'd love replying to them. Yeah, I would if I had time. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Take care. Have a great week. Bye. Bye.